Here at American University, the Katzen Art Center has been a staple of the campus for 16 years. Recently, their newest exhibit, The Long 60s, is preparing for its debut. I spoke with Jack Rasmussen, the director and curator of this exhibit, about the artists, their paintings, and the exhibit as a whole. Jack Rasmussen has seen his fair share when it comes to rights. When he was younger, he participated in the 60s civil rights movement for African Americans and women. My, my, my favorite quote is uh, by Ralph Steadman, who's a cartoonist, British cartoonist, but uh, he said, uh, when we were young, we were, we were going to change the world, and we did. It's much worse now. Using works from 60s era of African American and female artists that express their true feelings and thoughts, and contrasting it with white male artists who dominated the DC art scene with more minimalist art, it shows a power struggle that represented not only the pushback of these minorities in art, but in society as a whole. Uh, during a very tumultuous period of time, the 60s, uh, assassinations, war, riots, etc., uh, Washington art was uh, without content. It was just decorative. It was flat, and it was um, not meant to excite anything other than, uh, I guess, a sort of calm appreciation. But. Due to the pandemic, the entire exhibit has not been open, leaving the art and the entire museum closed for over a year, with the hope being a more relaxed summer so they can open sooner rather than later. To be honest, I'm not the biggest art connoisseur, but as the first person to take a tour of the long 60s, the experience was captivating. In the context of the 2020 Black Lives Matter protests, it reminded me that even though the battle is won, the war is long. I'm Owen Marie from the Katzen Art Center.